Under the patronage of the National Guard, the first Acton Forum for Training and Developing Work Performance opened with world-renowned guest speaker Rob Pike, as also known as the Trainer's Trainer. The forum is dedicated to improving human development, which is part of the Kuwait's National Development Plan. Established in 2009, DACOM provides consulting and training activities to effectively enhance global practice in the workplace. Sarah Glob has more from Selwa Hall in Marina Hotel. The first DACOM Forum for Training and Developing Performance in the Workplace kicked off under the theme Training is Not Always the Solution, with the aim of introducing a new culture to local and regional organizations. We have organized an important, beneficial, interesting and fun event for all our participants that deals with the training and developing performance under the slogan Training is Not Always the Solution. Although it is a strange theme, we have chosen it as we see that training is not the first solution to all our administrative problems. A lack of knowledge or skill is not always the challenge, and if we train our employees, the problems will not necessarily diminish. The challenges may sometimes be to do lack of regulations, inadequate work environments, or underdeveloped strategic plans. So the deficiency lies within the administrative and leadership structure rather than the employee. We have invited international American trainer Robert Pike to present this lecture and he will discuss five methods before having to resort to training in an applied and practical way rather than a theoretical one. Organized by DACOM Consulting and Training, the forum was held under the patronage of Kuwait National Guard and with the sponsorship of Kuwait University, the Public Authority for Applied Education and Training, Kuwait Oil Company, Kuwait National Petroleum Company and the Public Authority for Youth and Sports, among others, adding weight to the importance of the event. Uh, when performance is the question, training is the sixth answer. Uh, it's a privilege to be here. I've been delighted with the response of the uh, audience and uh, I'm looking forward to being back in Kuwait uh, after not having been here uh, since, uh, nine, uh, since uh, 25 years ago. So one of the things that we've been focusing on in the presentation is the fact that, uh, that we are now living in a knowledge economy. We're not in an industrial age. Uh, we're in a knowledge age and the learning is never going to stop and one of the things that we really need to do is help people learn how to learn and right now one of the differences between training and education is that all too often as educators it's simply about learning to pass and uh, in training we're talking about learning for living and the focus is on getting results and I want to see both education and training move closer together so that uh, the learning has application because uh, the, the greatest competitive advantage any country has is in, in, its, in its people. It's not even in its resources, whether it be uh, oil or gas or uh, manufacturing. It's, it's really in, in people that make that happen. And so we have to better equip our people for that new knowledge age that we're in now. The event targeted individuals and managers from public and private sectors alike, not only in Kuwait, but the entire Gulf region as well. An exhibition was held on the sidelines of the event, which also emphasized the importance of investing in education and training human beings as the best investment for any country. From the Selwa Hall in Marina, this is Sarah Glub reporting for English News.